Hey out there, Diablo fans. We know you guys are super excited about Diablo 3 and we know you want to get your hands on it. In an effort to help you guys get even more excited, we've created this 2D piece with Peter Chung and Titmouse Studios called Wrath. We're super excited for you guys to take a look at it. We've also had a chance to sit down with some of the creators. And so sit back, enjoy it, and check it out. You know, obviously we had we had Diablo 3 coming out um, and we had built a lot of new a lot of new lore, a lot of new characters, and throughout the series of games so far, we've seen all sorts of demons, right? Just pull the slot machine and, you know, 10,000 demons spill out. You know, it's, it's what Diablo is, but we've only seen the character of Tyrael, you know, yeah. interceding on mankind's behalf over the course of the, of the series so far. It really is a telling of the breakdown of the angels and their unity. We really get a chance to see inside the minds of the angels and really understand how they work together and really ultimately how they don't work together. We've been hooking back and forth and trying to figure out a way. Um, many of these characters haven't been seen by the audience yet, so we were just trying to figure out how, do, how can we get these ideas out to, to our audience. You know, we wound up coming up, coming up here and meeting Chris and the, and the Titmouse team. So working with Titmouse was awesome. They're an animation house and they've created things, shows like uh, G.I. Joe Resolute, um, Motor City, a lot of these really cool new animes and animations that are coming out. We felt it was just a perfect opportunity to work with someone who totally understood Blizzard's values. This is exactly the kind of thing that we want to do. This is the kind of project that we always want to do and we were looking at our our uh, project slate, and I was like, man, I can't believe this. We, we, might not, we might not have time to do this job. So we had this call, I remember it was on a Thursday, and I was like, man, we might not be able to make that schedule. I just gotta be straight with you. Yeah. That Monday, Peter Chung comes by just to hang out, and he's like, hey, do you guys have any work? And I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> call these guys, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I think we can do this job right. now. Peter Chung was an amazing director to work with. We all grew up watching the work that he had done on Eon Flux and a few of the other pieces that he had done. And Peter was the perfect partner in this space to really see our world and bring Sanctuary to life in a way that we hadn't seen before. So we're really happy to have had the opportunity to work with this guy. One of the reasons why they wanted to do this project in the first place was because they were a little frustrated because they would come up with all of the, these ideas and stories for their characters, but there was no way to fit those ideas and characters into the game. And so, so this was their chance to kind of pull all that material out and let, it, let the audience enjoy it. I think there's that. The other thing is animation buys us an opportunity to really explore crevices of the universe that we can't usually, because when we do our big cinematics, they're high fidelity, they're, they take forever, and there's only so much content we can put in those. Uh, so this gave us an opportunity to really explore different angles in a way that's stylized and I think naturally fits. I understood that as a way of trying to expand the universe and also the audience, because a lot of people who might be attracted to the animation might see the animation first and then you know, become intrigued by the game. It's yeah. very clearly Diablo through the lens of Peter Chung. Yeah. Yeah. It's no doubt about it that it has Peter Chung's stamp all over it. Right. But yeah. there's no diminishment either way. Not at right? all. It's, it's it's a, I think for Return of Diablo folks, it's like it's a unique kind of new kind of vision and new way of looking at those characters right. that in no way feels disconnected. Off. It disconnected. feels totally harmonic. You yeah, know, it with, still feels like the Diablo characters. It's totally. not like he took it and he was just like, through his, yeah. and he drew yeah, an yeah, entirely yeah. different exactly. guy. Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, he's going to take this, take a little bit of this, and. <laughs> and then he's got it. So once I understood that, I that they really wanted me to do this in my own style, then I felt that I had a lot of freedom to just go and do, do it the way I would do it. Peter came back with great hooks for the angels, right. yeah. watching how they fight, right. and they're like, oh, we have to do that. Yeah, yeah. I love that one point. where right. it's like, it flips yeah, around the exactly. wrist and yeah. sends yeah. back. The, 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 I was telling you earlier. Weapons, yeah. And that was all Peter, you know, just yeah. coming in, like him having to get his head around the, the visual acuity of what Diablo is into his style, right? Yeah, and make yeah. it sing to like the way he develops characters and the way he sees the, like characters in motion, which is just so visually unique. Suddenly I'm going, holy cow, that's, yeah. that's who those characters that's are. Peter. Like we, we couldn't, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, and it was just a perfect collaborative creative fusion, right? That made it just totally. so much more grand. They gave me a lot of latitude in terms of interpreting it in my own style and directing it in a way that, that I would direct it. I mean, that's really what they were looking for, was something that had a distinctive directorial stamp on it. So we want to give a big thanks to Titmouse Studios and Peter Chung for helping us bring this 2D animation short to life. So check back for the world premiere when it, it airs. You're going to enjoy it.